Hey, we're All Time Low. And you are tuned to B-Boy 45. Hey. Thanks for having us. What is your favorite app to use on your phone? I mean, obviously, like, sort of all the social media stuff that I'm slightly addicted to. Uh, you know, slightly. Twitter, slightly. Instagram, <laughs> Snapchat. I've gotten really into, like, hiking. I found this amazing hiking app that has, like, every trail in the States. And it shows you exactly where to go. People leave notes and stuff like that. You know that new Mario game? Like, it's awesome. Not only does he play it. I think he has an app that makes the volume on his phone oh, louder yeah. than it actually should be. And we'll just be in the dressing room and just hear, bring, bring. We're like, geez, man. Yeah, you'll be in the bathroom too. You'll, you'll, you'll hear it in the bathroom. How does it make you feel to know that your music makes such a big impact on your fans' lives? It's incredible. Um, there's really no other feeling like it. You know, I think when we started this band, we had no idea that the music we were writing was going to have any kind of effect on people or that kind of reach. So, what is the most rewarding part of making music? I think Great getting question. to uh, getting to meet people all over the world that enjoy our music. You share this common interest, and it's kind of cool to see that no matter where you are in the world, you can bond over that same thing, music. If you had a parrot for a pet, what <laughs> phrase would you be sure to teach it to say? That's a great question. Uh, I'd probably pick some of my favorite lines from my favorite movie, Home Alone. I think it'd be, keep the change, you filthy animal. The guests sure. would be so confused walking yeah. in your house, but what? <laughs> he wants to know what your guys' favorite football team is, because he loves the Broncos. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, you you got, might not like the answer. You don't want this answer. Uh, we are from Baltimore, so we're big Ravens fans. Yeah, <laughs> we, we like the Baltimore Ravens, but you know what? I also really like the Broncos. Well, what's the funniest thing that um, a fan's thrown at you on stage? Last night, actually, someone kept throwing packets of hot sauce at me. But I love hot sauce, but so delicious. I was like, I was like acting like I didn't want it to happen, but secretly like picking them up and putting them in my pockets for later. What inspired you to be a band and start writing music? I, I already had started playing guitar, and then Jack and I started playing guitar together, and it just sort of culminated into like, okay, we need a drummer. Okay, we need a bass player, and that's how we met these guys. Okay, it was a little nicer than just yeah. we need a drummer. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if I you agree. could have a thousand of anything orange, what would it be? Skittles? Um, I like orange Skittles. You know, it could be a thousand orange Lamborghinis. That would be cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Touché, that's... right? You guys up for playing a little game with us? Sure. Yes. Yes. All right, we call this game backwards forwards, okay? This is All our right. specialty. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. All time low. Backwards. Well, now. <laughs> well, now. Very good. We got this. And backwards, we're going to see how close you get. Well, it's time low. <laughs> Do you have any words of encouragement um, for any of our patients, either in here or patients and families upstairs that are watching? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think one of the biggest things is to just keep smiling. Um, I, smiles and, and a positive attitude are really contagious. And I find that, you know, when you don't know what other people are going through, and, and so I find that just shooting someone a random smile can really help. You are my